probably blown off. Probably blown off. I hope you're feeling extremely froggy fresh, extremely fly. Today in New York, it is perfect dirt bike weather, so why not go on a nice little dirt bike ride? We're just taking off for the bike run. Seth is currently in front of me. Jake and his parents and their trailer are behind me, way behind me, because uh, Seth and I have to go get fuel. So we figured we would take advantage of our time and not waste their time and go get fuel. and 70 cents that's a nice change of pace for me yesterday it cost me like 80 bucks to fill my truck all set how many gallons did you get four gallons and then i just put 22 gallons in my truck is this a diesel yeah jake and them already passed us I know. <laughs> we didn't make very good time are you gonna get a sandwich too i'd like to This morning I really didn't feel like hooking up my trailer and then throwing the bike in the back. Even though that's way more safe than loading it the way I did, I still loaded it the way I did. Still flipping sent it. You guys aren't gonna believe it, I found another gator. I found another gator, he's right, ah, it's right there. This is a six wheeled one though, not a five wheeled. Five wheel is the OG. Six wheel is too modern, way too modern and way too safe. We stopped at the gas station and we already got recognized and we haven't even got to this place where a lot of you machine freaks probably are. There's the trail right there. That's a nice feature there. Yesterday I, I slammed like mine a couple times because I got irritated. Look at that. Look at the suspension in that. Air ride. Right. Oh, this is the guy we saw at the gas station right here. That's the guy. Oh, he's following us. Yeah, he's following us. He's stalking us. No good. Paparazzi. No good. He's got his camera out and everything. He's going to expose us. New truck exposed. That's new truck exposed. Don't be putting me on YouTube with a new truck. Okay? What's that? I'm going to wear a drive. Why not? This is a beautiful rig, buddy. Everybody loves you. Seth actually just always plays a character. He always plays like the depressed guy. He's actually really happy off the camera, but it's a nice little like flow of like characterization. So we got me really positive and really happy, Jake really goofy, and then Seth's gotta play the, the bastard because who else is gonna play that part, you know? There's three-wheelers coming down, there's like 10 of them. I can't see, buddy. I can't see, holy, oh, they got a fleet of them. They have an absolute fleet of three-wheelers. 1980s called, they want their rigs back. You're gonna fill up? You fill up, I'm gonna do some videotaping, maybe fill up as well. This thing runs in hopes and dreams. I shouldn't have to put too much fuel in it. But look at Seth's new rig. I need some thoughts, I need some mud flaps. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> 32s. <laughs> Why stop it there? Let's go 64, man. Let's just double it. What year is it? Why? They don't even know. Yeah, they do. These guys want to know. 2014, the problem. We're getting viewers. We're getting viewers. Screwing up the audio, but you know. 2014, 1500? Yeah, it's a Chevy. <laughs> it's got a 5.3, and that's about all you need to know. That's his new rig. It's awesome. He's trading the Jeep for it. So yes, no more Jeep. Seth, how does that make you feel? We did have a lot of fun. Yeah, we beat the crap out of that thing sometimes. We made it to the first checkpoint. Oh man, I'm dirty too. I've been eating dirt. Their trails are so skinny, you can't really pass anybody. 
And uh, Seth and I both understand that this is not a race. He, he just brought this same point up. But it's like, if somebody's not behind you and then all of a sudden they're behind you, chances are they're going faster than you. Like, I'm not trying to be a passing you. I just want to get around you and go quicker. Some people might get irritated about it. Some people might not hear me in the background, but it seems like it's hard to miss the sound of a two-stroke. I mean, they rev pretty loud and they're pretty loud machines. So far, we've been recognized by about uh, five or six people. We've only stopped like two minutes. But it's not a surprise here. I mean, look at all the machines. A lot of people, a lot of machines. <laughs> The bike is dead on the trail again. Jake just passed. I think it's running lean. It's overheating. It, it's acting like it's not getting enough fuel. Unfortunately, I don't have a screwdriver. I really wish I had a screwdriver. Nobody's passing a little bit. I'm wondering if there's not a checkpoint up here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to get it started, get there, and then try to find a screwdriver. I only made it halfway around the run. I found Seth on his bike. Well, I actually saw his bike before I saw him, but that's his on the left. Mine's on the right. 20 minutes later. I'm at the truck, Seth's at his truck. Seth's bike is at his truck. My bike, however, is not at my truck. I gotta go pick it up, I, it's dead. I couldn't get it started. So Seth will load your bike and then uh, can we go and get mine maybe? Or should we just leave it leave it, leave it here? Your bike here with high <laughs> Chad's fired. Oh, just cause your bike's blue doesn't mean uh, you're superior to me. I'm sure you got a lot of Yamaha fans behind the screen right now though. Team Blue! Team Blue! The KTM's getting me on all sorts of trouble. It's gonna break my wallet. It leaves me stranded halfway through this thing. Oh good, no good at all. Mini, your your screwdriver didn't work. I think it's uh, either blown up or there's something screwed up with the car. Are you serious? It's probably blown up. Probably blown up. This is the first ride I haven't accomplished completely. My bike died. I think I want to take it to a guy and have him check the bike out. Give me his opinion. You guys know I haven't been in a two stroke game for very long. It's always been four strokes. Somebody's got to teach me something. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah. 